So one of Elder's key focus is around innovation and, and how can we really not do things always the same, how can we really improve, lift that productivity gain for farmers and we see that through innovation and, and genetics being one part of that is that we can really uplift and improve those yields and those bottom lines to growers. We've got a long relationship with EdStar Genetics. Uh, Ian Edwards and Elders has worked together for a number of years, starting back in 2004. Elders approached EdStar and asked if we'd be willing to manage the research and development of an international alliance that Elders was just in the process of concluding with Nickerson Limagrain in Europe. But we realised that over the long term, if we were to have a program that would be truly competitive in our environment, we needed to do some of our own breeding incorporate some European germplasm into predominantly Australian type cultivars. And these winter by spring crosses have given us a very wide range of material. And we're at a point now where in addition to some releases from the initial Spanish material, we're now starting to see varieties from our own crosses coming out from our program. The Edstar Elders program works very, very close in with our agronomy team. And we see that as really critical to uh, making success of having a new product that's going to add value to um, primary producers. With 150 agronomists nationwide and a number of tech sites, they actually start looking at the best product placement, the best fit for particular environments, and through agronomists there we get the feedback that we need on making sure we're doing the right thing in our breeding program. Part of reviewing our material and, uh, and looking at products that we will release into the marketplace is really that grower feedback and that's really critical in how we make our assessments and really understand on what the challenges are that our growers see. We trial the, the near commercial varieties in within our um, farmer field days and demonstration sites. So most products before they even go in NVT have been trialled um, regionally three years prior to entry into NVTs. We have partnerships with the likes of Murdoch University in, in Western Australia where we're doing water use efficiency work through the high protein wheat work. The DPI in, in Victoria uh, where we work with the Mordura team. Another relationship we have is with Cobbity University. So Cobbity University does uh, rust screening work and we work with them very strongly in uh, making sure that we've got the best available rust genetics. If we can't add that value where we're adding productivity gains to farmers, or everything else is secondary. So yes, yield is king and, and we do definitely chase yield, but we also want to make sure we've got very, very strong disease packages as part of our product. I think it's a really exciting space where we're, we're really closing that gap between infield agronomy and farming and that R&D space. And, and we see elders playing a really important role in the extension of that information, but it also gives us just in time information back from the field on new products that are coming through. Elders has a passion for improving farm productivity through agricultural innovation.